Hello everyone, my name is Keshav Zadho and in this video we will solve numericals based around calculation of equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct. So in another video we have derived these two formulae and link of that video is given in description of this video. So in this video we will solve two numerical. In first numerical we will consider a given rectangular duct and we have to calculate equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct and in second numerical a circular duct will be given and we have to find out equivalent uh, dimensions for rectangular duct. For both the numericals we have considered two criteria. First criteria is we have to keep same flow rate of air through the both ducts. So in that case we can use this formula and second criteria is we have to keep same velocity in both the duct. So for that purpose we have to use second formula. So let us solve first numerical. So numerical is like this a rectangular duct of cross section 50 centimeter into 35 centimeter carries 75 meter cube per minute of air having density 1.15 kg per meter cube. If friction factor is 0 0.01 calculate pressure loss per 100 meter length of duct. Also determine the equivalent diameter of circular duct. When quantity of air carries in both the cases is same and B when velocity of air in both the cases is same. So first we will write given data. So here in this numerical rectangular duct is given and for that rectangular duct dimensions are given. So here larger length we can consider as A and shorter length we can consider as B for rectangular duct. So we can write A is equal to 50 centimeter or it is also equal to 0.5 meter and B is equal to 35 centimeter which is equal to 0.35 meter. Also volume flow rate of air through the duct is given that is 75 meter cube per minute. So we can write Q is equal to 75 meter cube per minute. Then density of air is given that is rho A 1.15 kg per meter cube. Then friction factor is given. So we can write small f is equal to 0 0.01 and we have to calculate for 100 meter length of duct. So length of duct is 100 meter. So first we have to calculate pressure loss due to friction. So formula to calculate pressure loss due to friction is equal to F L rho A V square divided by 2m. Here m is the hydraulic mean depth. So we can calculate hydraulic mean depth by using formula cross section area divided by weighted perimeter and velocity we can calculate by using formula Q that is volume flow rate divided by cross section area. So given duct is rectangular duct. So we will calculate area and perimeter for rectangular duct. So first we will calculate hydraulic mean depth M. So here cross section area for rectangular duct is A into B and weighted perimeter is 2 into bracket A plus B. So A and B are given. So by putting the values we will get M is equal to that is hydraulic mean depth is equal to 0 0.103 meter. Now we can calculate velocity of air flowing through this rectangular duct. So velocity V is equal to volume flow of air through duct divided by cross section area of rectangular duct. So Q is equal to 75 meter cube per minute is given and cross section area of rectangular duct is A into B. So by putting values of Q, A and B, we will get velocity is equal to 428.6 meter per minute. Here this 75 is in meter cube per minute. So here we will get velocity in meter per minute. We can convert this into meter per second by dividing to this term by 60. So if you divide to this term by 60, then we will get 1.143 meter per second as the velocity of air flowing through the duct. Now all values in this formula are known to us. So we can put all the values in this formula and we can calculate pressure loss due to the friction. So here this m is equal to 0 0.103 meter, phi is equal to 7.143 meter per second and other values are also given here. So by putting all the values we will get pressure loss due to the friction Pf is equal to 248.8 Newton per meter square. 
Now we can convert this pressure loss in mm of water column. For that purpose, we can divide to this term by 9.81. So if you divide to this term by 9.81, then we will get 29 mm of water column. So in this way, we can calculate pressure loss due to the friction in the duct. Now we have to calculate equivalent diameter of circular duct for two criteria. First criteria is when quantity of air carries in both the cases is same. So we have derived the formula to calculate equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct. When quantity of air passing through rectangular and circular duct is same. So this is the formula. In this formula, value of A and B is known to us. So we can put values of A and B and we will get diameter of circular duct as 0.46 meter. So this is the equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct when quantity of air Q passing through rectangular and circular duct is same. Now second criteria to calculate equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct is when velocity of air in both the cases is same. So this is the formula to calculate equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct when velocity in both the duct is same. So here by putting values of A and B we can get value of D that is equivalent diameter of circular duct is equal to 0 0.41 meter. So this is the equivalent diameter of circular duct when velocity in both the duct is same. So in this way we can calculate equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct. Now in second numerical we will consider opposite case means dimension of circular duct is given to us and we have to replace that circular duct by a rectangular duct. So problem statement is like this. A circular duct of 41 centimeter is selected to carry air in the air conditioned space at a velocity of 428 meter per minute. If density of air is 1.15 kg per meter cube and friction factor is 0 0.01, calculate pressure loss per 100 meter length of duct. If this duct is to be replaced by a rectangular duct of aspect ratio 1.4, calculate size of rectangular duct. First criteria, when the quantity of air carries in both the cases is same and second criteria, when velocity of air in both cases is same. So we will write given data. So here circular duct is given and diameter of that circular duct is 41 centimeter. So we can write in meter that is 0.41 meter. Here velocity of air flowing through the duct is given 428 meter per minute. And if we divide by 60, then we will get velocity in meter per second. So velocity V is equal to 7.13 meter per second. Then density of air is 1.15 kg per meter cube. Friction factor is equal to 0 0.01. Length of duct is 100 meter and aspect ratio is given. So aspect ratio A by B is equal to 1.4. So first part is we have to calculate pressure loss due to the friction. So pressure loss due to the friction can be calculated by using this formula. Now in this formula friction factor F is given, length of duct L is given, density is known, velocity is also known, only unknown is M that is hydraulic mean depth. So we can calculate M that is hydraulic mean depth which is equal to cross section area of circular duct divided by weighted perimeter of circular duct. So cross section area of circular duct is pi by 4 d square and weighted perimeter is pi d. So if we simplify this, we will get m is equal to d by 4. So d is given. So if you put d is equal to 0 0.41 meter divided by 4, we will get m that is hydraulic mean depth is equal to 0 0.1025 meter. Now all the values required to calculate pressure loss due to the friction are known to us. So by putting values of all parameter in this formula, we will get pressure loss due to the friction Pf is equal to 285.18 Newton per meter square. So we can convert this Newton per meter square into mm of water column. For that purpose, we have to divide to this term by 9.81. 
so if you divide by 9.81 then we will get pressure loss due to the friction pf is equal to 29.0706 mm of water column so in this way we can calculate pressure loss due to the friction for a given circular duct now here aspect ratio a by b is equal to 1.4 hence we can write a is equal to 1.4 b now second part of this numerical we have to replace the circular duct by a rectangular duct of aspect ratio 1.4 and two criteria are given first criteria is when quantity of air carries in both the cases is same so when q is same in both the ducts then we can use this formula so here in this formula diameter is known to us this a we can write in terms of b so only unknown will be b so if you put all the values and if you simplify this then we will get b is equal to 0.3155 meter and by putting value of b in this equation we will get value of a so a is equal to 1.4 into b that is equal to 0.4417 meter so in this way we can calculate equivalent dimensions of rectangular duct for a given circular duct by using this formula now second criteria is we have to replace that circular duct by rectangular duct of aspect ratio 1.4 and criteria is when velocity of air in both the cases is same so for same velocity we have formula for equivalent diameter d is equal to 2ab divided by a plus b so here also we can put value of d and value of a we can put in terms of b so we will get this equation and if you simplify this equation then we will get b is equal to 0.3514 and again by using this equation a is equal to 1.4 b we will get value of a is equal to 0.4919 meter so in this way we can calculate equivalent dimensions of rectangular duct for a given circular duct thank you